The first question that we have is says simplify the following. We have 4xy squared in parentheses times 3x raised to the negative fourth power, y to the fifth, all in parentheses. So we're going to multiply this first expression times the second expression. In order to multiply, we have to multiply like terms together, so 4 times 3. When we multiply with the same base, and we're multiplying, we add the exponents. So x, this is like to the first power, so we have 1 plus a negative 4, which is really 1 minus 4. y squared times y to the fifth power, same base of y, we have to add the exponents, 2 plus 5. Simplifying that down, we get 4 times 3 is 12. 1 minus 4 is negative 3, so we have x raised to the negative 3 power, and y to the 2 plus 5 is 7. In order to simplify, so we have non-negative exponents, when we have a negative 3 as an exponent, we have to move that to the denominator and keep everything else in the numerator. So we have 12y to the 7th power and over x cubed. Final answer. So we've used the product rule in simplifying this expression. Let's take a look at the quotient rule. Well, the question says to simplify a raised to the 39th power, that's in the numerator, divided by a to the 32nd power, that's in the denominator. In order to use the quotient rule, because this is a quotient, we have a numerator and denominator, as long as we have the same base, what we can do is subtract numerator minus denominator exponents. So we write it as a, the common base, we take 39, minus, and then the denominator units, 32. So we have 39 minus 32 is 7, so we have a to the 7th power, final answer. That's using the quotient rule. Let's take a look at the power rule. The power rule says when we have a power, we need to multiply the exponents. Well, if we have negative 3x squared, all in parentheses, raised to the 4th power, that means we're going to raise everything inside here to the 4th power. So that also means taking a negative 3 raised to the 4th power, so it's like negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, 4 times. And then we take the x squared raised to the 4th power. Well, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is 81 positive because negative times a negative times a negative times a negative becomes a positive. And then we have x raised to the 2 times 4 is 8. So the final answer is 81 x to the 8th power. That's using the power rule. Now we can often combine all of these rules together. Let's take a look at one where we have to combine a few rules. So the question says to simplify 4n raised to the negative 1 power in parentheses and then square it. And we're going to multiply by 2n cubed, that's in parentheses, and then cubing it. So first we have to deal with the power rule because we have to multiply the exponents. But it's like taking 4 squared. Well, that's 4 times 4, 16. And then we have a power to a power, so that's like high, high, and multiply. So we take n to the negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And then here in the second uh, expression we have 2 cubed, which is 2 times 2 times 2, or 8. And then n cubed, and then cube that. That's like high, high, and multiply, so that's the power rule. So we have n to the 3 times 3 is 9. Now we have a product rule here. So we have to take 16 times 8 first. And then we have to take n raised to an exponent, and then we're multiplying by n times raised to an exponent. So when we multiply and have the same base, we add the exponents. So we have n to the negative 2 plus 9. And the final answer is going to be 16 times 8 is 128. And then we have n raised to the, well, negative 2 plus 9 is positive 7. So we have 128 n to the 7th power. That's the final answer.